All right, we're gonna start learning some cooperative toy play. So I have my kind of like long, skinny, flat-ish toys. Why, well, I don't need your help. And I'm going to make them run away from the dog. Someone in a figure eight on the ground in front of me. I have three of them up for a reason. So she won one. I kind of slippery my fingers. And I am just gonna start playing with another one. I know you run away, run away, run away. She bites it, you keep running away. Because that is Rizzo Shush. What Prey would do. Oh my gosh, she won. Amazing. Let me get my second toy out again. So she gets to win. Rizzo, no! Third toy out. So, this is pretty cool. Toy. And I'm just gonna keep wiggling it around. She has to make the choice to spit that toy out and play with my toy. She did it! Yay! So this is how we teach drop it and fetch. And then anything that goes in her mouth can also go in my hand and not to bite humans and all sorts of good stuff. I can also just make that toy still in one hand and activate my other toy. So I keep playing with my toy. Wow, well, yeah, good job. Good job. You got it, it. You got it, it. That was amazing. Yeah, good girl. Good girly, good girly. Oh my gosh. You can also grab the toy near her mouth and when she pulls let it slide through your hand. Woo! Oh, you're so good. Oh, you're so good. Oh, you got that. What do I say? She's this. Oh, dog, that's fun, Paul. Oh, look at those fine paws. Look at those fine paws. Yeah, good girl. Get a good girl. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. That's so good. And then when we want to be done, and these are our special tuggy toys, they're not going to live out. I'm going to trade her for a cookie. While she's chewing up her giant delicious cookie. We rejoice. <laughs>